There's something I wanted to cover. This comes up every now and then, and it came up, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago in the comments. So uh, one of the commenters mentioned that the woodworm screw comes loose from her chuck. And what causes that? Well, I'm going to show you what causes that. Your woodworm screw, well, they're, they're different, and I, and I can't really speak to all of them. I can only speak to mine, but I'm sure they're all similar. You see the flaps on here? The flat spots? That's what needs to get gripped. Not the round spots, the flat spots. If you just stick this in here haphazardly and tighten it down, that's not tight. You think it's tight, but it's not tight. And the way we can tell is if I loosen this slightly and rotate it now, now I can feel it seat into position. See that? See this, it won't be tight here and it is tight here. And I'm pulling on this. And the reason I'm pulling on it is for one, one part is to find that spot that it needs to set at. And you can feel, I mean, you can just, you can just feel it. See those spots? You hear it? It's got to be there. Not, not over here where you can just freely turn it. It's got to be locked in and pull. And the reason you pull is because when you tighten your wood up on there, eventually it's going to press against this and that's going to pull on this woodworm screw. And if you haven't pulled it out already, it's going to pull it out and that will make it loose. Then it'll be away from where it needs to be. Got that? So pull it out first before you tighten. Be sure you have those flat spots where they need to be and tighten it up. And then your jaws should have just a very narrow gap in them. If you've got a bigger gap like that, it's going to come loose. As soon as this big piece of wood starts turning and you hit it with a chisel, it's going to come loose. So don't let that happen. That covers the woodworm screw. Now, this is also extremely important. You have to have a flat spot. See, see the ring? Can you see the ring where this was seated on there? You see that ring in there? It's seated all the way around. It's not just seated here and missing over here. It's seated all the way around. And that ring comes from the front of the jaws right here. And if it was, if this wasn't flat, if you tried to tighten it up over this, this larger area, then it's going to set crooked. And if it's setting crooked, again, as soon as it starts spinning and you hit it with a chisel, it's going to come loose this way sideways. So you, you need a flat spot. However you can get that flat spot. I used a large uh, Forstner bit, but not everybody has those. Some people plane these down, you know, whatever you have to do, plane it down with a hand plane or a chisel, but it's got to be flat. It can't be pretty close to flat. It's got to be flat or it's going to come loose. If you do those two things, you get a flat spot on your wood and you get this set right, there's no way that's going to come apart. It might break out the wood. This wood might break out if it's bad wood or something. But if it's good solid wood like this, it's just, it's just not going to come apart. It's not going to come loose. It's not going to go flying. It's not going to come apart. If you've done those two things correctly. I hope that helps.